it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Kakodash. I'm going to make this real quick, and that's uh, the title is from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7. You can read that whole chapter about the Apostle Paul saying it's good for a man not to touch a woman. He goes on to say, but you can. That's why you should have each man should have his own husband, right? He also, the Apostle Paul also says, I wish you were like unto me, meaning Paul, the spirit, the most high put a spirit on him where Paul didn't desire a woman because of the, 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 um, the, what is it? What is the term? Uh, velocity that Paul was moving. He's moving fast. He's doing a lot of things. He, his, his job, you know, the, um, the burden on his back, which is a burden, uh, that stone on his back was to, uh, convert the Gentiles, which were before vocab Malone jumps in are Israelites. When the apostle Paul said in, in uh, Romans 11 chapter, I am an apostle of the Gentiles, therefore I magnify my office. When he said Gentiles, I'm an apostle of the Gentiles, therefore I magnify my office, meaning the most high said, you, it's your job to awake as, as many of the Israelites that forgot that they were Israelites to going back to uh, uh, the time of the Maccabees, Antiochus forced them, you know, ultimately not to call themselves Jews, to eat pork, to have long hair, okay? Greek custom. You know, all you got to do is read Maccabees. Hey, Maccabees uh, 1, uh, first Maccabees 1, read the whole chapter. Also, you can read... Uh, uh, first Maccabees two and uh, second Maccabees. Or second Maccabees four. So read first Maccabees one, first Maccabees two, and first Maccabees uh, uh, second Maccabees four. You can read you can read that, and it basically. Also, Second Maccabees six. Uh, those uh, particular verses are dedicated to Antiochus Epiphanes forcing Israelites not to be Israelites. Um, so, coming back to the Apostle Paul, being the Apostle of Gentiles, he was sent to Israelites that didn't know that they were Israelites. He was sent to the Greeks so you can understand. So now let's come back to 1 Corinthians uh, 7. Read the whole, the whole chapter. In that chapter, it says you can have unbelieving women. All right? Bishop Nathaniel said you, you can't. You can't have an unbelieving woman. You got to give a time limit. Clearly going off. Anyway, let's get back to, to this right here. I said all that to say this. This is a video that I just came across entitled, Modern Woman Sues for $10,000 for a Bad Date. And this is the actual, this is the judge. This is the woman, which is, uh, you know what woman that is. You can see that she has blonde hair, so she's clearly out of her mind. She doesn't understand that's, that's a leprosy of the scalp. And this is the man that's being sued. And he didn't even think it was going to go to court. The judge says, oh, well, you got to put in paperwork. You got to put in a motion for dismissal. So she, she filed papers with the court. And he, has to, he had to defend it. So it behooves you not to deal with that woman. You know what woman I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, you got to be careful dealing with any of these women. They can turn around and say that you grape them. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to make this long. The, uh, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description box, which is right here. But if not, all you got to do is go to that 
that dude named Dave, and this was put up two days ago, entitled, I guess he's out of Chicago, Chi-Town, entitled Modern Woman Sue, not just my, model blank woman sues for $10,000 for a bad date. So with that, I'm gonna say Shalom, watch the video. I'm only three minutes in and of a 20 minute video. Shalom.